the worst things that you could possibly imagine of all the people you basically encounter with is dealing with that one person that thinks he's speaking for everybody, especially when he listens and talks so much he doesn't understand or even get the point of what he's talking about because he listened to so much crap and he hears so much garbage and he thinks he knows what he's talking about he's gonna stand up and speak for everybody in the room as if the person that is in the server is holding the people against their will as you can basically see that I've posted uh, some material in my server all the way up here and you know there was a couple of other guys who posted some crap and so I banned them you know because I don't promote garbage so usually they should know by now that I do not promote ignorant material and if anybody is getting banned usually they're getting banned because they're ignorant they're getting banned because they're foolish or they post something stupid in my server that I don't like and don't like to uh, and don't like to indulge and personally like with Thero Max and all these other noob tubers I literally told the guys that if you're not gonna talk to me to understand the Bible not to agree with me but if you're not going to talk to me to understand the Bible and to step out of your comfort zone I am open for conversation but if you want to argue if you want to fuss if you want to act like you know more than the Bible the table as always is going to get flipped on you and you're just gonna be uh, and then you're just gonna turn into a big crybaby like this guy mr. Smurf mr. Smurf says that you can't ban people for asking questions blah 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 this server is trash blah 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 I'm leaving anyway now keep in mind guys this is the guy that challenged me with Kingpin versus Monoma. And every time, I'm not talking trash about the guy or anything, every time I ask him for a debate, he never showed. And then when he says that his mic does work, and his, uh, yeah, his microphone does work, he could hear me well, I could hear him well, he still didn't show up to no debate. Like any other time that I'm having a discussion, or talking with somebody, having dialogue, or even in a debate, He's there, but when I'm actually asking him for a debate, he doesn't show up and he says that he's just too busy. But I'm not gonna talk trash, I'm just saying that maybe the guy always came to a point to realize whenever he came to try to debate the evaluator, he just felt like that there's some other important things going on in his life and it's just it's a fictional convert and it's just nothing but a fictional conversation. But this is the guy that was talking smack like he knows what he's talking about and he's never and he's never accepted a debate and when he did say he accepted to the debate he never showed up so I think he's just a big squeaker you know the guys that talk a lot of big bad stuff and act like they know what they're talking about and they don't know what they're talking about and see the other thing is he's gonna make this post in this comment and talk about oh you got your feelings hurt by versus Sully well if he really listened to the context of the conversation and knew what we were talking about I told him that if you act as if you know more than God that mean you know the way of life and knowing the way of life means that you know everybody's purpose you know everybody's yeah you know everybody's purpose you know everybody's fate and you can decide and you can decide and give them a good reasoning to continue with their purpose or continue with their fate but this dude over here talking all that smack act like I'm holding everybody in my server against their own will and he felt like what he said what he said he stood up inside the mystery evaluator server and spoken for everybody as if he's gonna get 500 people that's gonna look at this video and come back onto his channel if he ever has one come back on his channel and basically gives him some props for standing up for all of the people who did not speak like this to mr. evaluator point blank and period if you don't want to be in my server I'm not holding you against your will you can leave just like this guy has and you can see the different dates the last time I spoke to I'm alive I think was October the 21st 2021 this guy, Mr. Smurf, responded on October the 30th. 
2021. So it was 10 days this guy left this response since I even been back on this, uh, been back on my server. So that just goes to show you that he was holding himself hostile and he felt like he was doing himself a favor. So I guess he went back and said what he said just so he can crawl in his tubby hole and tell the rest of his new friends how he back smacked the evaluator and stood him up in his server. So I don't know what else to tell you guys. This is just what happens to noobs when they get there, when they get in their feelings, they think that they know what they're talking talking about and this is what happens when they get so over boasted and so full of pride a giant rock falls on them and they don't know how to take it or handle it if mr smurf didn't want to be in my server from the get-go he could have left just like everybody else did just because the people that are in my server didn't want to leave don't mean that they're being held against their will and don't mean they're being held hostile so all that standing up talking for everybody in the room was just absurd and just out of the question and it was so nonsensical all of the people who chose to be in mr evaluator server decided to stay in the server if he carried on with any more conversations but this guy talked like nobody has to do that so you need to leave his server because it's dead nope that's only up to them because if they choose to stay in here to have a conversation they can and if they don't want to pretty much like you just did they could leave too as well and actually i'm not meaning to uh, get off track but i'm gonna make a little side note about groundsbreaker when i basically had this conversation with groundsbreaker groundbreaker came right into my server and he posted whatever he posted said what he said about the crazy discussion he couldn't carry on and he just left the server altogether nobody was being held against their will and they just left free willingly because they chose not to no longer talk to the mr evaluator now <clears throat> This is the point that I'm going to break. This is why I said back to the beginning, I said, Mr. Smurf, you don't know what you're talking about. You're just swallowing your pride up. You got squashed with the big box of rocks. Every time I asked you for a debate, you had some other stuff to do. I don't know why would you tell me that you wanted to have a debate and never showed up in a debate. At least you could have just came back and told me, hey, we're not going to be able to debate today because I have this going on. Well, anyways, it is what it is. He said what he said and he left the server which proves that he was not held against his will from the beginning he left just as anybody else did just like that big guy uh groundsbreaker servers galore and plenty others along the way this is your guy mr evaluator don't let these noobs confuse you